Hello everybody, thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. This is Renee from Heavenly Eating Creations. Please follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Let's get started. I'll be making this nice, beautiful 20 ounce sublimation tumbler from beginning to end. All right, here I am. I'm starting to go ahead and cut out my image. This is gonna speed up just a little bit, but I think everybody knows how to cut out a piece of paper. Just so you all know, I cut my image out at 9.3. Um, by 8.1 and this is for my marker flow tumbler that I get now make sure um, you measure your own with a fabric measuring tape because not every tumbler is the same that's a number one question I get from a lot of people what size do I cut and you know what to be honest the best thing for you to do is measure it yourself sorry okay so I believe I am finished here. And <clears throat> this is my tumbler from Markerflow. I love, 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 love this company. They are reasonable, they are quick, and they have some awesome products. So far for the last couple years, I've never had any issues with them. So check them out. And no, I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> All right, heads up everyone. If you hear any background noise, that's my kiddos. They're trying to break into my bedroom right now as I'm recording this, so just bear with me. All right, if any of you have seen my previous video that I did on how to tape a tumbler, a heads up here, I use a lot of tape. And when I say a lot of tape, I mean a lot of tape. So please, no hate on me. All right, everyone does what's best for them and that's what it's best for me. So right here, I just finished wiping my tumbler off with some alcohol, removing all those oils, that was on my hand off the tumbler. Then I realized I didn't have no gloves and I had to rewipe again. So let's get started with taping this beautiful piece of art. All right, so one thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure your paper lines up perfectly with your tumbler. Um, what you're gonna do is as you can see, I'm trying to adjust it so it's perfectly at the top rim. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of pulling and pulling and twisting and so forth and so on just to get it perfect. All right, and I have maybe one eighth of an inch overlap, not that much. And as you can see, I didn't do that very well right there. So I'm gonna start all over again here in a second. Yeah, see, I just pointed out my mistake. It wasn't lined up perfectly. I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> so here we go again. I'm gonna make sure both sides of my paper are lined up evenly at the top. And I'm pull my paper really tight and I'm gonna tape it in the middle and then work my way over to the right. Pull very tight. All right, I'll do that side and now I'll move on over to the end and the bottom and do the same thing. And I'm gonna speed it up here in a moment and just tape all the way across. I told you, I use a lot of tape. But I'd rather waste a lot of tape than waste $8 on a tumbler. And if anybody, you know, um, if you don't know this, if you're into epoxy or wanting to get into epoxy, messed up sublimation tumblers work great for um, epoxy tumblers. All you have to do is give them a light sand and wipe them down and epoxy over them. Um, I messed up so much in the beginning, I end up getting into epoxy tumblers as well. So I do just about all of it now. So in the near future, I will be showing you guys how to do some oops sublimation tumblers into epoxy tumblers. So if you guys are interested in that, just shout out to me, let me know. Let me know what you guys are interested in. I do a lot of things. Um, I am very grateful that I have a husband that allows me to have many, many, many hobbies. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and tape around the bottom rim 
And as you can see, I'm pulling very tight all the way around and then push it down. This helps with the, all that fading and ghosting that people get around the tops and the bottoms. Um, this tape method works excellent. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rim. And I'm gonna do the same thing as I did it on the bottom. Pull very tight, as hard as you can. Okay, guys? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use my scraper for my Cricut, my, my vinyl. I'm gonna actually use this to <clears throat> push out all that air that's in between my overlap. And if you really look closely, there is a light yellow underneath that tape or a light yellow. You can see bright yellow and light yellow. Um, maybe, I don't know if I'm gonna show it here or not. I can't, I can't remember if I did. But when I'm pressing, you can see all that light yellow fade and everything starts to blend in. Um, I'm going to press all that out and then I'm flipping it around and there's a line there from the underlay of the other paper underneath. I'm pressing all the air out of that section as well. I hope I'm making sense. Um, some people can use their fingernails. I prefer to do this method because I'm basically just, I'm rubbing all the air out and I'm gonna do it around the, um, I believe that's the bottom and I'm gonna see right there. Yes, that's the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and rub that all out. I'm trying to remove all my air bubbles from there and smooth out all those crinkles. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. This makes a huge difference, I, I truly believe. Again, everybody has a different method. Bravo to every single person that was able to figure out what works for them, but this is what worked for me. And um, this method, I've eliminated having to uh, waste tumblers. So hopefully this works for you too. All right, so now since I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this uh, this parchment paper, not parchment paper, but butcher paper, which by the way, I got from Lowe's for only $3.47. This was a huge roll, awesome deal. I'm gonna wrap that and then I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna use painter's tape once I get it. <laughs> And I'm gonna wrap painter's tape around this um, butcher paper. Only reason is because painter's tape will leave a very nasty sticky residue. And I prefer for it to be over the butcher paper than on my image itself. I tried it once and I didn't like the, you know, the, the way that the tumbler came out. So here I, I was trying to pull the tape myself and I in a minute I'm gonna recruit my daughter to come and help me. So bear with me here guys. Yeah, I think she's already pulling the tape for me. She saw I was struggling. Let me give a shout out to my daughter, Rachel, the one who's making this video for me. She just graduated from college. So guys, please, you know, give a thumbs up for Rachel. She's doing, she went to school to be an editor in music and movies and, you know, I'm so proud of her. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a hard time. All right, I'm almost done here. And so, as the, I'm still taping here, I preheat my oven at 350. I use convection bake, um, that's the type of oven I have. And I usually bake my tumblers for six minutes. I do them standing up, um, but I do flip them. Again, everybody's different. Some people just let their stand completely. I feel for myself that my tumblers come out better if I flip, you know, to each its own. All right, so I'm just about done here. And as you can see, I got the um, painter's tape all around. I make sure it's nice and smooth. And yeah, this is ready to go in the oven, guys. Let's see how this bad boy comes out. All right, here it is, I'm preheating. I wasn't gonna show what I do, but I've had people say they want, again, beginning to end. All right, here we go. I do three minutes at 350. I flip it around, as you can see. 
and I do another three minutes. And here we are, voila. Let's see what this turned out to be. All right, I was a little nervous, uh, but yeah, let's see, let's see. This thing was really hot. And do you see how the towel is sticking to the, the, the tumbler? Could you imagine if that painter's tape was on the actual image? So yeah, great tip. All right, and here I am. I'm gonna pull all this off little by little. Maybe I can speed it up just a tad bit for you guys. Now the moment of truth. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, look how beautiful. And this is supposed to be a seamless tumbler. And I believe this came out absolutely gorgeous. I love this tumbler. I'm so in love. If anybody is interested in this tumbler, let me know. Send me an email, visit me on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram at Heavenly Eden's Creation. All right, look at that. Okay, and my last thing that I do is I go ahead and I put my rubber bottom on. That'll cover up that little red spot or pink spot that was there. I love these things. If anybody's inter inter interested in those, I actually got those rubber bottoms off of Etsy. So if I can remember, I'll go ahead and put a link into the um, description box. Um, yeah, because these things are awesome. All right, and if you can see, that's my seam right there. Let's see if I can give you a close up because it's really not that bad. It's a little bit off, but not as much. See, look. Yeah, not too, too bad. Next time it'll be better. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think. I hope this video was helpful to you all. Um, again, if there's anything you guys wanna see, wanna learn, let me know. I do resin art, I do sublimation, I do uh, crochet. What else do I do? Oh my goodness, I do a lot, I sew. All right, here is my finished product. So please guys like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to visit me. The more people I get on TikTok, the sooner I can do live streaming. Take care everyone. God bless.